So Fox 4 investigates Ryan Kruger joins us live in studio with the details and Ryan leaders are targeting much of their frustration at DeSantis. Yeah, and specifically the legislation signed by the governor last week that targets the trans community. Those leaders of that organization tell me they are worried about what a run for president might mean for them here in Florida. On the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia and Biphobia, Governor Ron DeSantis signed a series of bills into law that restrict transgender health care, bathroom use and drag performances in the state. With the amount of laws and bills that are, are that have been signed recently in Florida, there's fear, there's unknown. Um, to everything. Joseph Clark is the CEO of Gay Days, one of the oldest and largest LGBTQ organizations in the Sunshine State. Every year, the group holds four days worth of events at Disney World, celebrating the LGBTQ community. He tells me he's had community members reach out in recent days, asking if it's safe for them to travel to Florida to hold the annual event. Clark says not only will the show go on next week, he's hoping for allies to be there as well. We need the help of people to stay Stand up and stand together. Everything that's passing is not just affecting us as an event um, that happens over one weekend. I, I'm also, it, we're a gay owned business. It affects us there. With DeSantis now running for the Republican nomination for president, Clark believes many of the bills signed this year were focused less on the people of Florida and more on attracting the attention of Republican primary voters. And I believe that all of these bills passing, yes, are playing to a base. Um, and they're a strong base, but I believe that we can be stronger. And Disney Gay Days began back in 1991. The event runs from June 1st, that's next week, to the 5th. Ryan Kruger, Fox 4.